Andy, does that mean that uh, this might be your last tournament? I've said to myself, it's my goal, I want to win a Grand Slam. You know, there's a lot of expectation, but it's something that, you know, that I have to try and block out. It means a lot to the players, you know, when you're representing your country, it always does. And um, it's, it's definitely up with the Grand Slams because of the, the top players are competing now. History is made at the US Open. Andy Murray, the first British male winner of a Grand Slam for 76 years. It's, it's great to have finally done it. And, you know, there's a sense of how, you know, how big, uh, you know, a moment that is in British tennis. The waiting is over. You're the first person ever to win two Olympic tennis gold medals. That's an extraordinary feat, isn't it? Um, well, to, to defend the singles title, um, I think Venus and Serena have won about four each. But... Andy Sam is the first US player to reach a major semi-final since 2009. How would you describe Male player. The... <coughs> I beg your pardon? Male player, right? Yes, yeah. first male player. So, he's... Uh... Well, I can't believe I'm missing this match. It's, what, what's the score? It's like 4-2 or something. What's the score? Should we, should we just go and... I said to my team, look, I think I can kind of get through this until until Wimbledon. That is where I would like to stop, um, stop playing. Um, but I, I'm, I'm also not certain I'm able to do that. <laughs> 